there are many benefits of nitric oxide, but I'd say the top two to three benefits of nitric oxide are regulation and blood flow and oxygen delivery. Number two, it's insulin sensitivity and glucose uptake. And then number three, it's mobilization of your own stem cells. So if nitric oxide only did those three things, it would make you improve your health, improve your longevity, and really improve your quality of life. Because really disease occurs when we have insufficient oxygen delivery, when we have elevated glucose and you can't get glucose into the cell. We call this insulin resistance and diabetes, whether it's diabetes type one, type two, or type three, now called Alzheimer's, or our cells don't repair and replace because our stem cells don't get the signal to mobilize and repair and replace dysfunctional cells. So the top three benefits for me at 30 years in the science is regulation of blood flow and blood pressure and oxygen delivery, glucose uptake, insulin sensitivity, and mobilization of our own stem cells. Nitric oxide is a gas. It's naturally produced inside the body. Once it's produced, it's gone in less than a second. But during that second it's around, it starts a propagation of other second messengers that allows the cells in the body to communicate with one another. So it's naturally produced. The older we get, the less we make. And the loss of nitric oxide production is associated with every age-related chronic disease in the world. It's responsible for regulation of blood pressure, brain function, glucose uptake, insulin signaling, exercise performance, sexual performance. Really, nitric oxide is involved in every biological function inside the human body. So if you want to live longer, live better, you must be able to produce nitric oxide. There's certain myths that are around the internet. If you Google nitric oxide, you find these so-called myths. The first is that all nitric oxide is produced the same way. You know, the body has a way of producing nitric oxide upon need. So for instance, there's constitutive isoforms that produce nitric oxide second by second that regulates blood flow, circulation, oxygen delivery, uh, cell signaling throughout the entire body. There's also an inducible or inflammatory isoform that's produced that produces a lot of nitric oxide over a short period of time to kill off infections, to initiate an inflammatory response, and to start the healing process. The problem is too much nitric oxide over a long period of time, chronic inflammation, can cause some collateral damage. But the most collateral damage is does because it shuts down the constitutive isoforms. So people who are chronically inflamed, although at the site of infection or the site of inflammation, may seem that they have an overproduction of nitric oxide. Systemically, they're completely devoid of nitric oxide because of this feedback inhibition. So this myth that all nitric oxide is produced the same and goes the same place, does the same thing, is completely false. The body controls and regulates nitric oxide when it needs it and at the specific site of where it needs it. 